Happy Monday, everyone. So as a leader right now, it's your opportunity to create, create a stronger business, a stronger team, and finding ways to support your team right now to sell more, book more, and bring on new team members is so important, as I said, right now. And today, I'm gonna to share with you five ways to support your team in a virtual capacity. I'm Gail Bates, CEO of MyMentorBiz.com, where I help leaders grow million dollar teams. I help them grow using my systems, my proven systems and strategies where they get the results they want. And this is what I call the Monday team building tip. So every Monday, I leave a tip for leaders on how to grow strong and dynamic teams. So if you're new here today, I'd love you to hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe leave me a little like, a little comment, that, so that you, I can keep my uh, Monday tips coming for you every Monday. Okay, so as I said, it is right now during this time of sheltering at home, during this coronavirus time, where you actually have an online business, okay? And it is really time for you to be supporting your team virtually. And today I wanna to share with you five ways to do that. So the first way is, the first one I recommend is to supporting them by finding out, and reaching out and finding out how they're doing with their why. Okay, um, you know, having conversations about their why right now is really important. Some of them might be feeling a little shaky or some of them might even be feeling stuck. So supporting them right now and helping them uncover their why and their why may have changed really will help them find out, will help you find out what inspires them to take action and to keep growing their business. Because you know, it's your why, it's always your why that pushes you forward to show up consistently. So make sure that you are doing that. You're reaching out to team members and you're reevaluating where they're at with their why. The second one to support them is what I call bite-sized pieces actually giving them some activities, some actions to do, but helping them do that in bite-sized, small pieces, okay? Making them small actions for them to take is really manageable for them right now. You know, everybody's at home. Many people have kids at home. It's a full house. There's a lot going on. So giving them some short, short small actions to take right now is really important. Because we all know that when we achieve those little actions, they all lead to bigger goals. You know, my coaching group right now, we're working on five day challenges for our teams. Okay, so they're uh, working on giving the teams one action a day for five days and giving them little rewards for achieving each one of those small bite sized actions. The third thing to support your team virtually right now is to encourage them to show up online. Because let them know this is their opportunity to serve. And they can serve through video tips about the products, about surviving at home. But the key here is encouraging them to show up and not just hide at home. Showing up and letting people know that they have an online business that's totally available is really key right now. So I'm hoping you are leading by success as a leader in doing this yourself, that you're showing up in your weekly group. In my coaching group, I'm showing up live three times a week, a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday, and I'm calling it the pep talk. So you as a leader would want to be showing up live in your group and maybe writing a weekly email to them as well. But showing up now means you are a leader that is standing out. So we support them with ways to show up online as often as possible. Okay, number four is help them by creating some theme posts for them to, for social media, okay? Theme posts that they can share in their VIP group, maybe give them some categories to post about like a list of product benefits or share um, uh, a short, five, how to share a five day challenge in those groups just fun things, you know, a fun find, find I challenge. Where do you live? You know, what's your favorite uh, book? Uh, all of those fun little things gets interaction in the group. So giving the team members these themes 
on what to post right now is really supporting them virtually so that they are showing up, okay? And they know what to post. Okay, and number five is, of course, virtual parties. Virtual parties are becoming the norm right now, okay? So show them how to book virtually, which might mean they need to read word their uh, description of what, they, what, what the party experience is about. But, you know, you're thinking about how many team members know right now how to go on Zoom and have a Zoom party, um, or how to hold a Facebook party, or how to go on live, online just live. How many of your team members are holding back because this is not available to them right now? They haven't stepped into that realm of being virtual. So maybe you, your whole team is virtual. I don't know. But if they are, then help them in planning their calendar so that they are filling their booking dates, okay? But if you do have team members who are struggling right now in going online, I'll put a link below to my masterclass, which is eight techniques to taking your party from offline to online. So if you're having team members who are struggling, this is a great little workshop for them to watch and for them, it will help them take action. It's just $27 and I think you'll find that more team members will begin to go online and do more virtual parties once they become more confident in knowing how to take that offline party and take it online. We are living in a virtual world, okay? Not a material world as Madonna says, okay? So one of your calls to action today is to think about which one of these that you, and leave me a comment below, I wanna hear from you. Leave me a comment below and tell me which one of these actions, these virtual actions you're going to do to support your team this week. Have a great week.